Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Brittany. I'm a health coach and nutritionist, and my channel is all about helping you to create delicious low FODMAP meals to improve your digestive health. If you're into it, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week. Today we're gonna be making mojo pork in our Instapot, which is a Cuban dish that I love. It's got a nice, light, citrusy, and herby sauce with lots of cumin, which is a flavor that I really enjoy. We are gonna be making it in our Instapot today, pressure cooking it, but you could definitely make it in your slow cooker as well. So let's start by making our sauce. So our sauce today is citrus-based. So I've got some oranges and limes here that I'm gonna go ahead and juice. I have an eight-quart Instant Pot, so in order for it to pressurize, it needs a minimum of two cups of liquid. So that's what I'm going for today. If you have a smaller Instant Pot, you can use less sauce. You don't have to use fresh oranges, but I do recommend it. It's got so much more flavor. If you are gonna be using juice for concentrate, I would make sure that you have one that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup because that is a FODMAP. Okay, so here we have a mixture of one and a half cups of orange juice and a half cup of lime juice, which came out to be six oranges and four limes. I've just strained the pulp and the seeds. So typically I do put in a jalapeno into this sauce, but my stomach's been a little sensitive the past few days, so I'm gonna skip it. So if you're someone whose spice triggers your symptoms as well, feel free to skip it. If I were to put it in there, I would just cut off the stem and roughly chop it and throw it in there. Next, we're going to add a bunch of cilantro, stems and all. And I'm gonna add the green tops of two stalks of green onions. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic oil. Next, I'm going to add a chicken stock cube, which is going to help flavor and salt our sauce. Today, I'm using Massel 7 chicken flavor. You can also use Fadi chicken soup base, which I really like. Okay, next, we're going to add two teaspoons of cumin, a teaspoon of oregano, and a lot of black pepper. Mmm, smells really good already. Okay, now I'm just gonna go blend that up. So I blended this on high for about a minute until it's nice and smooth and green. You'll notice that it's a, it's a bit thin for a sauce, but we're gonna take care of that later when we thicken it. Okay, now that our sauce is made, we're going to prep our pork. I have a pork butt roast here, also known as pork shoulder. I have about three to four pounds. Now I'm just gonna cut it into smaller chunks so that it cooks faster in our Instapot. You could also make this with a pork tenderloin if you wanted to keep this recipe a little bit more lean. I like using the butt roast because it's a bit fattier and juicier. I wish I had a sharper knife. Okay, we're gonna turn our Instapot on to saute and get it heating up. And we're gonna start by salting our pork. I never really measure, but I'm always very generous, especially if it's a thick cut of meat. Next, we have brown sugar. Now this is going to make all the difference in your cooking. You can skip it, but I would really recommend trying it. It's gonna help give you a really nice sear. I have about a third of a cup here. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of garlic oil in the bottom of our Instapot so we can add some garlic flavor to our dish. All right, now we're going to, we're gonna place our pork seasoned side down. Ooh. Hit the other side with some salt. And sprinkle a bit more of sugar on there. Okay, so now we're gonna sear each side for about four minutes.
here we have one of our pieces of pork roast that is seared, and you'll see it has this nice brown color on there. It's the caramelized brown sugar. It smells so amazing in here. It smells like meat candy. I wish you could smell it. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna scrape the sugar bits off the bottom. I'm gonna turn the heat off really quick so it doesn't burn. While it's still hot, I'm gonna throw in about a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a bay leaf, and a, about a quarter teaspoon of peppercorns. This is a completely optional step, but it will take your cooking to the next level. Okay, now we're going to add our sauce. And we're gonna bring it up to simmer on the saute setting before we thicken it. Okay, so now that it's starting to simmer, we're going to thicken it with a cornstarch slurry. This is just one tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of cold water, which is very important because when it hits the hot water, the molecules are going to unfurl and thicken your sauce. Okay, now that that's thickened up, let's add our meat back. all of that extra amazing meat juice. Okay, now we're going to put our lid on and pressure cook it for one hour. So the directions for the Instapot are to pressure cook each pound of meat for 15 minutes. So here we have four pounds and I'm gonna cook for an hour. Of course you wanna leave a little bit more time in your schedule for the Instapot to pressurize, which which takes usually about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so now while that's cooking, we're going to work on our Cuban rice and black beans. So I have a cup and a half of raw rice that I've cooked. I have a can of black beans here that I've drained and rinsed. We're gonna add that. We're going to add about two tablespoons of garlic oil. and the juice of one lime. The secret to getting really good tasting rice is to cook it with chicken stock. So if you haven't tried that, I'm telling you, it will change your life. Now we're going to add some chopped cilantro. It's about a half a cup, but you can put as much or as little as you like. It's about a quarter cup of green onions, but again, you can put as little or as much as you like. Finish it with some salt and pepper, which is always to taste, of course. And just stir. See, so simple and easy, but it really livens up just plain rice. Okay, our mojo pork has been cooking in the Instant Pot for one hour. We've also vented it, so now let's take a peek inside. Oh, that smells so good. Now you see this meat is so tender, it's just falling apart, which is exactly what we want. You see we still have that nice sear on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and shred it. My fork's just going through this like butter. Okay, that looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. 
Okay, now let's plate this up over our cilantro, lime, rice, and beans. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this right now. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm. The meat is tender and juicy. It's got a nice, robust, meaty flavor. The sauce is tangy, a little bit sweet. I love this dish for meal prep because it's so easy, like you saw, and it keeps really well all week. You can throw a little bit of the rice and the meat over a bed of spinach and have like Cuban bowls. You could put this in a burrito. You could even throw a fried egg on top of it for breakfast. This would also be really great with my chimichurri sauce. You should follow me on Instagram where I have the recipe posted. All right, there you have it. Low FODMAP mojo pork, cilantro, lime, rice, and beans. If you like this video, found it useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tag me on Instagram if you make it. I love to see you guys make my recipes. All right, see you next week.